welcome to TechCartel once again today I would be showing you the installation of the Asus Zonar DX series uh, sound card so this is my sound card ready with me to be installed that's my motherboard and this is the slot I'm going to be using Hold on. let me plug this out okay now this is the slot I would be using because the slot above this is very close to my card which would block the air and the one above here that's here it is using the network card so I am left with one two and three options that is one two and three there's one more here it's 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 all it, if, if I plugged the card in here it will almost touch my card so that's not the option so the last would be the option so for installing this you just need a small screwdriver so let's begin with the installation pretty quickly it's opening up the last slot of the back panel and those are pretty stiff screws of my NZXT410 Tempest it is not one of the okay here it is let's turn and remove the stick okay now in the I've also done the unboxing if you want to watch you can find the link on the video and in the description this I was talking about this is for the I believe the ITX motherboards or the mini ITX sorry if you want to change you can also change that because they have provided us with the required screws you can see here can you see that yeah so you can just uh, remove this one from here see this okay remove this one please focus okay remove the screws from here and the other one there and then plug this in that so let's put in my card and here it goes pretty sweetly and neatly mind well you did not hear the notch sound because this card does not have a notch like a graphics card it's not that long that's the reason this notch remains added as it is that means whenever you need to plug, pull out the card you just need, you just need to pull that out you don't need anything else oops before that I forgot to remove my front panel audio header so that we need to plug into the graphics card that was on board sorry about that I'm so excited fitting this car that I almost forgot what I need to do exactly here is the screw and I'm fitting it with a military precision I would say <laughs> just make sure that when you're fitting the screw the card is inserted and not plucked out so it's fitted now then we we'll move ahead with the audio header connector that this is my front panel audio header connector and that goes in this slot can you see that this is the slot here and it's uh, pretty hard I believe to plug it in here no it's not okay it's plugged in this is the extra one that's AC97 audio and I believe I need to cut it from here so that's plugged in here now we need to connect the floppy connector that is the molex connector but I believe I don't have uh, any free floppy molex connectors here so I believe I'll have to do let me check I'll have to open the cabinet from the other side okay so I'm back again I got the power connector way back from there and took it out here because I did not have a direct connector and all my connections are from the right side of the cabinet that is they are hidden so I need to take out the wire each time so just plug it the plug in plugging in the floppy drive connector right now
okay sorry for that cut out uh, uh, I have uh, now connected the power connector from the back of my cabinet that is the right uh, side of my cabinet because all my molex connectors are beyond behind the motherboard or behind the scene rather so that's the reason I had to open the cabinet from the other side and then I plugged it in so just now we are left with plugging in the uh, simple connector for your power of the card so let's do that here we go here it's connected now it has a railing over it you know how the floppy connector used to work so that's it so this is pretty much the installation of the card now you just need to uh, turn on your machine boot it up install the sound drivers the latest one do not use it from the disk provider those are pretty old because card ships in the month of uh, august september and you buy it in the next year's june july so those are pretty pretty old so this is all about the card i would say this is a good buy if you are planning i'm saying again and again if you're planning to buy it uh, a mid uh, buy a mid-range card uh, because uh, and uh, the one question you might be thinking of why I do not uh, go for creative creative has the same range card but they specifically write there it's only for gaming they have a sound uh, creative x5 titanium so they have clearly mentioned it's for gaming but I wanted a bit of everything so this was the best choice and if you go through the internet there, there is pretty good there are pretty good reviews of uh, Zonar series so entire Zonar series well the DG series the, I mean the DG card which comes at around about 1640 rupees that's of course not good as this one and this one is not good good of course as the Essence ST or STX but Essence ST and STX they have a on that also they have written that it's for uh, the people who are going to use headphones with op amps so it has an op amp chip on it which amplifies the sound for the headphone only not for anything else so why do we pay 8,000, 9,000 rupees if, because I'm not a headphone user if you are a headphone user then it's pretty well and good but for that output the, which the card is giving you also have to buy a headphone or a headset round about of rupees 6,000 or 5,000 that's a C stereo which, which supports uh, THX or, or which supports at least surround sound so I opted for this one. So that's one you which you opt for. So that's it about the card. Thank you for watching. If you like, please subscribe. If you don't, please comment. Let us know what is the problem or where do we lack. Your feedback is pretty important to us. Thank you for watching once again. Talk to you later. Bye bye.